Hi, it's Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio and welcome to the September challenge for the Art and Soul Studio Facebook group. Now, I co-host that Facebook group with Diana from the channel Artfully Yours with Diana and I'll link both Diana's channel and the Facebook group in the description box below. Now, you don't have to be in the Facebook group to, to do this project, uh, but, you know, if you'd like to be and you'd like to share what you create with us, then please come and join us if you're not already a member. So for September we've chosen the theme Autumn Fall Mandala. We're kind of approaching autumn now. Some people will, will say we're in autumn already. Autumn equinox I think is just over a week away and we just thought that autumn fall would be quite a nice theme and just adding that little twist of a mandala. Now it's around, I don't know, 9.30am just now and the sun is dancing through the trees in my garden so apologies for the shadows but I actually think it's quite nice and I've just been out there, there's a coolness but and it's very windy and you can see that by the, the trees moving but I thought I'd go out and just gather up a few things and before I start what I'm going to do I was just going to show you them so this is actually... The flower of a zinnia. It's obviously well dead. Now I had to snip it. Uh, you know, it was dead anyway. I don't like snipping anything that's live by and large. But I thought that would be nice. Uh, these little things are off an alpine plant. The flowers have died back. They're almost like little sea urchins. These are gorgeous. I did snip a couple of pieces of lavender because it's going to need to be cut back anyway. And they smell amazing. And various leaves. Now this leaf is very mottled. I think this has been around, this could have even been around since last year. It's so mottled. But lots of other leaves. We've had a lot of leaves start to change colour early this year. I think because we had a, a long dry summer, we had kind of drought conditions. And of course the leaves just started to, to die back. And I love that a number of them have tiny holes. I don't know what this is. It's been very windy the last few days. And I don't know what this has come off. I was trying to find it in the garden, but there's just a few of these leaves kind of kicking around. And I forget the name of this flower. Just take that little black bit of it. I thought it was a wee beastie for a second, but it's not. So, oh, I also picked up this piece of moss now. Birds had obviously been pecking at this because this is starting to die. I might try and replant that. I don't know if moss does regrow. I love moss. So lots of leaves to give me inspiration and I thought what I would do is two projects. One, I want to make a natural piece of art, not something that's permanent and I just want to make a kind of mandala using that and by mandala we mean something that's kind of contained within a, a circle roughly and I'll say a bit, a bit more about mandala. I do think I'm going to have to change my lighting in here though because it's looking quite dark just now but yeah, so I want to make a living piece that I'll just put together a few pieces and see how it turns out. But then I'm actually going to use these as inspiration and I'm going to get some foam and just cut some leaves into the foam, do some leaf patterns and then just stamp a kind of mandala thing. So I think I'm going to have to open up one of these blinds and then I'll get started on my kind of natural piece of art. Probably put that to music. I'll leave a note below if that's something that you're not interested in. Oh, look at the colour on that and the texture. Yeah, so if that's something that you're not interested in, please feel free to, to skip forward to the bit where I create the piece of perhaps more traditional art. So, yeah. I've got this piece of wood. I love working on this piece of wood, usually when I'm outside. And I would have made this outside, but it's so windy the leaves would just blow away. So... Got my cup of coffee, I'm going to have a slurp of that and then I'm going to get started. I'm going to open this blind first though and try and improve the light.
And so we have my natural art mandala, just with a few leaves and other bits and pieces from the garden. I thought for a moment I couldn't find that, but it was just hiding among the other leaves. So I'm going to take a picture of this. It will then be pulled apart and I'm going to press these leaves and this flower and they will then be used for other projects later on. And I do want to do some more art uh, kind of projects, autumn fall projects. So, you know, maybe be back with those in, in a week or so using some of these again, but in a different way. So let me clear this away and we'll get on to the next project. I do hope the light improves for you. I'm really sorry about the shadows. Personally, personally I like it because I like to see the trees dancing in the shadows, but uh, hopefully it's okay. If not, I'm going to have to do this twice. Okay, I've switched things around to my filming point just to try and get a better light. Uh, it's a bit darker now, but I can hopefully then lighten it up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of fun foam. I've made foam stamps and words before, I'll link them. And I'm just going to take a couple of the leaves as kind of inspiration, just for shapes. I don't think I want them this size, I want to make them a little bit smaller, but I'm just going to take that kind of shape, do a couple of drawings, then go over them harder with the pen and then I'll cut them out and, you know, do a bit of the detailing in terms of the veins etc. You can also use these direct to stamp with, I've done that before. And just try and get a few stamps made and then actually take this piece of paper, this is caddy paper, it's, it's very textured, so it will stamp in ways that will make the stamps imperfect, but they will be imperfect anyway. But that's the kind of look that I'm going for today. Just something quite plain, but in that kind of circular mandala type sense. Now, my understanding of a mandala is that it is something made within a circle. It's not necessarily intended to be permanent, but it kind of represents the universe, it represents the, the, the cycle, you know, the seasons of life and so on. So I think very appropriate for the fall season. I love the fact that some of the leaves have little holes in them, so I'll try and represent that in some ways. I'm assuming some little beasties, little insects have been chomping on these. There's another one. You know, imperfectly perfect. So, right, let me start working on some of these.
So I've drawn five basic shapes. I'm deliberately not making them symmetrical because the leaves themselves are not all that symmetrical. Uh, I wanted the little stalks on them. You see that I kind of adjusted the shapes as I went along. That one there, I like this kind of pointy bit on it. I didn't get that in the original drawing. So now that I've got the line that I want, I'm going to press down hard and actually push the foam down with my pen so that I can get a line that I can then cut around with the scissors. So again, I'm just going to go over each shape and then I'll cut them all out. should have said, this is just a kind of normal biro pen, this particular one's a Pentel, doesn't matter what it is really, with a kind of hard point that I can just press into. Can I also just say, I've still got this lavender sitting here, and the smell is just amazing, very calming. Right, I'm now going to cut these out. So, I want something for the centre of my mandala that kind of represented this. I'm not going to do anything as intricate, so all I've done is to create a perfectly imperfect circle that I'm just going to put dots on that will kind of represent this and also a bit of the moss that I had in that kind of natural art mandala. And all I'm going to do now is start to put some veins on my leaves. I'm going to try and 
represent this. It would be too much to try and cut all these little pieces out. But if I just kind of push down, I can maybe get a sense of the kind of ragged, jagged edge there. So that's the next thing, is doing the kind of decor, uh, the detail, I guess, on these. So, I have my stamps made. There's some lines on here just where I was drawing the outline before that won't show up on this. Uh, I've tried to press down quite firmly. I've made some where the, lee, uh, the, the veins are opposite each other because some of them were like that. Others, uh, they were offset. I've tried to show where there were little blemishes in the leaves. So, you know, I'm not trying to make this an exact representation, but equally to give it a kind of natural look about it as well. So I'm just going to get out a couple of ink stamps. I'm going to keep this... I don't know, I might come back in and add some more colour. I'll, I'll see how it goes. I don't know how well these are going to stamp. I may need to press down on the veins a little bit more, but we'll soon find out, I guess. 
So, just clear these out the way. Another sniff of my lavender. Mm. And then we'll try stamping.
Oh my goodness, I actually love it. From the very first one I put down, when I put that down I thought, oh, that's good, that's better than I expected. And then when I stamped these I thought, oh. And truly, you know, it won't be everybody's cup of tea and that's fine, but truly I love it. It turned out way better than I expected. And don't ask me why, but when I was using this ink, it actually picked up the ink from the stamp. So some of those lines that have just been guidelines have come out as well, but for me, it works. I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. I'm not adding any more to it just now. I could, I felt I could keep on stamping for ages. I think there was only one stamp that I didn't use. You know, I could go back and add a bit more, but just now it's just feeling right for me. So I'm leaving it at that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of these stamps and just these three colours and I'm going to stamp just on a an A4 sheet of paper, you know, letter size piece of paper. I'm going to scan it and I'm going to add it to the files in the Art and Soul Studio Facebook group. And, you know, if you wanted to then cut these out for your kind of own use, in your sort of own personal projects, then you'd be very welcome to do so. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it. I, I'm quite surprised, if you can't tell, just really pleased with how it turned out. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy this Autumn Fall Challenge and Autumn Fall Mandala Challenge. And remember, it's just about that kind of general circle shape. Don't get too hung up on that. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber and you'd like to, then I'd, I'd love to have you. Hello to all new subscribers. I always forget to say that and I do apologise. And I do hope to be back with some more autumn fall projects. Uh, I'm chuffed with this. I really am chuffed with it. I like it a lot. One or two little blemishes here and there, but imperfectly perfect. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.